Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at the National Rail Museum in York today, and as you can see, we're travelling on the main demonstration line. We're travelling behind Agecroft number no. one. She was built in 1946. So, just a short ride on standard gauge, Steve. This gives us the opportunity. If you look out there, that track there is narrow gauge. But we're heading for the miniature railway over there. We're going to do the South Garden Miniature Railway in today's episode of Miniature Railway Britain. But seeing as this was running and it's a winning loco for me, couldn't resist starting our adventure to the National Rail Museum's Miniature Railway on a stand. I'll let you see the arrival at the little platform. The miniature railway runs just over there behind this building here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and have a ride on that. We're going to go around their system and see what else we can see today. So just got to wait for the guard to come and let us off. So I'll just show you in the guard's van while we wait. This is the interior of the guard. There's actually a fire burning in there if you have a look down there. So this would have kept the guard warm when travelling on goods trains on long winter nights. We're now going to get off the train as soon as the door or the gate is open. We'll have a look at the loco and we're going to go over to the miniature railway. <laughs> Thanks very much. So there we are, we've thank you. had our ride on the standard gauge railway. I'm just going to show you this, look, this is the works plate. So that's the loco's works number, built in 1948 at Robert Stephen and Hawthorne's works. So that would have been in Newcastle, which is called Agecroft number one. Have a look up here, we see the front of the loco. appreciate the sun's very bright. There you go. Right now, let's go and find the miniature railway. We're going to have our ride. So they have got a section of narrow gauge, which pointed out, but they're not actually running any trains on that. I think they only ever do that when there's a special event on here. But I just thought it was a nice way to start the video with a bit of standard gauge steam. As I said, if it's a winning loco. So whenever a loco's a winning loco, then I will always have a ride on it. So I'm going to head this way. We're going to head in this direction to the miniature railway. It's just over here, so it's known as the South Yard or South Garden Miniature Railway. It's seven and a quarter inch. It's I've been on it a few times. I remember when it used to be a lot shorter, and then it was redeveloped into its shape now of like a figure of eight. And there's also a branch on this miniature railway that I've always been fascinated by. It goes off behind that building there, which um, I have done once as a child, but now they don't tend to run trains on it. I can hear the horn off the local. So if we go through here. We should see. Yeah, I can see it. it's class 47. It's going to run a bit so you can get there to see the train pass. And there we go. There's the class 47. So that's on its inner loop. So it starts here from the station on the outer loop, it goes round as an inner loop. So it will come back from over there. Do you know something else I want to go and have a look at before we go? before we get on the train. So we're gonna have a look at that. So, as I said about there being a branch, which passengers don't get to travel on, it goes from the shed off down there. So I've been on that once as a child. Now I've just noticed there is a steam loco here. It's not in steam, it's called Margaret. Corey Hunter sitting there outside the shed. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to hang around, I'm going to wait for the train to come back and I'm um, going to take our ride on the South Garden Miniature Railway. So before we have a ride on the South Garden Miniature Railway, the reason I've brought you down here is because if you look out there, I know you can't see much, but see that bank of grass, just at the very bottom of it is the end of that other branch of the Miniature Railway that's not currently in use, but that is where 
the track goes to. Now, if we go through here, one other thing I wanted to show you. Remember the video where we went to Crew Heritage Centre and I said about how they had a, a railway that ran all around the works, now a gauge railway? Well, here is one of the locos. So these ran all round through works. But these aren't miniature, although they're small, they're narrow gauge. So this is a narrow gauge one. We're now gonna walk on through the South Hall, past the Royal Trains. Let's just go and have a quick look at the Royal Trains, or at least a loco. We'll have a quick look at Gladstone and some of the carriages. And then I'm gonna go out to the South Garden. We're gonna have our ride on the miniature railway. So here's Gladstone, London Brighton South Coast Railway locomotive and there's some Royal Train carriages. I'm now going to go on out the back door and have a look at the South Garden Minutes Railway.
So we just had a very enjoyable trip on the South Garden Miniature Railway. What happens here is you get off the train there and then the loco comes forward to here to the departures platform. So it has an arrival and departures platform. So that will probably happen, well I'm not sure about when because um, I haven't turned the engine on, but the 47 should come forward and it will be ready to take the next lot of people for a journey around the South Garden. So we just had a trip on the South Garden Miniature Railway on the miniature Class 47. Now, here, the South Yard, the depot, we should see the real thing. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go and see the locomotive that the Class 47 we just traveled behind is a model of. So as we come into here, there's various items of rolling stock, including one of the garages probably pulled by one of the rockets when they're steaming. There's a DMU over there. There's a shunter here, which was built in 1953 at Darlington. Admittedly, that wasn't off the top of my head, I read it just there. Anyway, the loco we just travelled on, here is the real thing, it's Prince William. It's Class 47, one of the royal Class 47s. So before the royal family had the Class 67s, they had two Class 47s, Prince William and Prince Harry. And Prince William, here yeah, is Prince William, is here. You can see it's 47798. So, not often you can have a loco miniature and then come and see the real thing, just a stone's throw from where the miniature loco is running.
So as Agecroft number one steams past us, I think that concludes my visit to the South Yard for standard and miniature. And not that we had a ride in it, but we can also say narrow gauge. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the National Railway Museum for a great afternoon. And please do feel free to like and subscribe and tell your friends and tell your next door neighbour, etc. Tell anyone you think might like my videos. Thank you very much for watching from the National Rail Museum. Goodbye.